Hey up and welcome to a Confident Club Cuppa. Hello. I didn't do it, this man did it. Steve, put your hand there. Congratulations. Thank you. This man ran the Yorkshire Marathon. He had a great time. I did. Um, I was on the finish line. I saw his little face when he went over. Yeah. Um, so what do you say about that, Steve? What I would say is, yeah, he had a great time. Mm. Now, most people, if you consider... Now, we're using marathons as a yes. metaphor here yes. for how you might think about your presentations. If you're interested in running a marathon, I might do a different post, post on that in terms of the detail. The key thing is to decide in advance what you would accept, what rules, if you like, you'll have to feel great about what you've done. Right, how you'll know. What would it take for you to know you've enjoyed yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So my number one was, one was to have a great time the whole way around. Yeah. Because you can't guarantee you're going to finish. All sorts of stuff could happen. You know, yeah. you might get cramp, you might get that. I mean, obviously, you do everything to avoid that, but it could happen. So I had a little mantra, which was smile every mile. Yeah. Right? So, that, so that meant it didn't even matter if I didn't finish. Even if I'd gone two miles, I've still had a good marathon, right? So think about a presentation. What, would it, what rules do you have yeah. when you go in advance and certainly afterwards? A lot of people go afterwards as they mm -hmm. beat themselves up. What rules are you going to have to make sure that you have a great experience whenever you give a presentation, right? So I did that. So that was cool. Um, then I had one that was like, oh, uh, I want to I wanna, um, finish fast, right? So if I get towards the end, right? So I thought, and I'll feel really good if I finish fast. Yeah. And I did that. But as long as the first one was taken care of, right? Because uh, who was that guy who had that quote? Um, Oh, Michael Caine. Michael Caine, famous actor. Yeah. He said, rehearsal's the work, performance is the pleasure. Yeah. And I think that kind of nails it, really. Because um, I, I think, I don't think you were on this workshop. We did a workshop ages ago, Curly. Yeah. And there was a guy, and I said to him, we'll talk about being happy and content about what you're doing in your life. I said, what would it take for you to be happy then? And he had this big, long list, and it was like a really long That's list. That's a big right? question, what would it take for you to well, be I happy? Well, I know, I know it is. And yeah. again, So great. this was in, li in life, work and everything. Yeah, but yeah. great question to ask yourself yeah. about life, work and everything. What or, did he say, this guy? He said, he had a big, long list. And one, yeah. and one I remember was he had to be earning something like 75 grand. I don't yeah. know how close to that he was at the time. A uh, big list, but one of them was yeah. uh, people returning my phone calls on time. Okay. Right, and I, I didn't tell him. I might have done, but I thought that's never going to happen, is it? That set of criteria is never going to occur. It's setting himself so, up. So you're going to feel miserable about anything you're doing, really. Yeah. Whereas I met another guy on a separate workshop who, went, who told me he'd had some major health problems because he had some con sort of congenital heart thing, uh, and he'd had two heart attacks before he was 30, 32, I think. Yeah. I remember saying to him, what, was it what does it take for you to feel happy? And he just said, waking up above ground, right? Brilliant. So I'm not happy now. Yeah, so that's the point. So the point yeah. is decide. Decide yeah. what, you're gonna, what you want to feel. Uh, and your better chance you'll feel it when you give your next presentation. Excellent. Yeah. Good advice. Bye for now. I'll see you there.